Meanwhile, Washington and the nation tonight mourning the death of General Colin Powell. He was the first black secretary of state and chairman of the Joint Chiefs. Powell passed away at 84 due to COVID-19 complications. Our Washington correspondent Jesse Tenner has an update. One of our great military leaders and a man of overwhelming decency. Washington's top leaders remembered General Colin Powell's life and legacy. Secretary Powell's career in the U.S. military is legendary. The world lost one of the greatest leaders that we have ever witnessed. Senate Republican leader Mitch McConnell recalled how the 84-year-old served in the Army for decades and rose to the rank of four-star general. As a senior leader, he helped four presidents protect our nation. Vice President Kamala Harris stressed Powell's role as the first black chairman of the Joint Chiefs and Secretary of State impacted many across the globe. Because of what he was able to accomplish, it really did elevate our nation. These leaders said Powell left an impression not only for his professional accolades, but also for how he treated people. He made sure that they knew he would always have their back. It is not possible to replace a Colin Powell. We will miss him. Powell's family confirmed his death in a statement, saying he passed away due to COVID-19 complications. Powell was fully vaccinated, but also had multiple myeloma, a blood cancer that impairs the body's ability to fight infection. A heartbreaking tragedy, tragedy for the country and one the president is feeling personally. And White House Press Secretary Jen Psaki continued to stress throughout today's briefing that an unvaccinated person has more than 10 times greater risk of dying from COVID-19 than a fully vaccinated person. In Washington, I'm Jesse Chenor.